This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2022. The clinical outcomes of isolated medial patellofemoral ligament reconstruction in knees with increased tibial tuberosity trochlear groove, or TTTG distance, remain controversial. However, pathological TTTG distance is considered to be an anatomical risk factor for patellofemoral instability. In a new study, 541 knees with episodic patellar dislocation and 240 knees without episodic patellar dislocation were retrospectively analyzed by researchers from China using computed tomography images of the knee joint. The TTTG distance demonstrated the best diagnostic performance and had a significantly better area under the receiver operating characteristic curve in comparison with other parameters. The TTTG distance was moderately too strongly correlated with knee rotation and trochlear groove medialization in both groups. However, Tibial tubercle lateralization was weakly correlated with the TTTG distance in the control group and was only moderately correlated in the episodic patellar dislocation group. Additionally, knees with a type D femoral trochlea had a significantly greater TTTG distance than those with a type A, B, or C femoral trochlea. In summary, the TTTG distance is affected more by knee rotation and trochlear groove medialization and less by tibial tubercle lateralization, and it increases with an increasing grade of femoral trochlear dysplasia. These correlations between the TTTG distance and its related components could lead to a better understanding of the TTTG distance.